Okay, data logging. Um, very important to know how to do this. A bit boring, but it's very important to know how to date log in case you have need to send anyone any files or if you've got any problems or issues or it's a very easy function to work around but okay connect run to your studio and make sure you're connected to the ECU and the ignition's on. Um basically as soon as you start date logging and you start and you save the file um Tuner Studio starts to record that date log and then as soon as Tuner Studio is stopped uh, or you shut it down or you stop date log and then that date log stops. So it's important that you um, realise that you don't just connect Tuner Studio to it and pr record what's happened, it only records what it's seeing at the uh, once you start date logging. Okay, so up top goes st date logging, start date logging. And you get the box up where which you're going to save it and what you're going to call it. And it naturally puts it in my documents, Tuner Studio projects, and then whatever directory you've got. So in my case, MS2, and then data logs directory. So yours could be um, Tuner Studio, car one for argument's sake, um, data logs, and that'll be in there. You can change the file name if you want to, but the time stamps quite nice and easy, at least you remember when when you've done it, and then click save. Once you've started, once you've clicked save, the data log started. And in the bottom left hand corner it says capturing data log. So go for a little drive, blah blah blah. It's gonna simulate a little change of RPM and some throttle angle and bits and pieces, coolant temperatures which you can't see. Okay. Then once you're happy that you've um, you've data logged as much as you want, you can either go data log stop, or you can just shut Tuner Studio down. Okay, we're going to shut Tuner Studio down this time. Shut it down. Now the data log stopped. So if I now go to my documents. Uh, Tuner Studio Projects, wherever it says MS2 version 3, in date logs, there's the date log file. Now saved as an MSL file, and you'll need Megalog Viewer, which is free software, uh, in order to view it. Now if I double click on, if I open the date log up, you'll see the date log full of data from what I've just done. You can drag it across. Obviously yours will look a bit different to that because you'll have a running engine rather than just me sitting in a workshop. And you can change, you can select anything you like. Any of, any of the um, inputs it records as well as things it works out, calculates. So we've got RPM in yellow. You can see the RPM changing. Uh, throttle position, when I twiddle the throttle position, hot, coolant temperature, along the blue, and move the th coolant temperature, manifold temperature, etc, etc, pulse width, even spark advance and everything. So you can now go through a data log, and you can step through every s thing that the engine did, all the sensors, and look at the f lambda feedback, which I haven't got on here, but I guess I have AFR, no, 12, I didn't move that, but you could look at the lambda feedback as it was going, high and revs, load, and all that sort of thing, and start looking at um, where you need to tune things.